Hey, what's going on guys? DJS here. Wanted to bring you guys a video. My top 10 releases that I missed in 2013. Let's go ahead and jump in. The runner-up, first of all, or two of them actually. One of them is what the Kobe's I actually really liked. The sneaker ended up missing it for retail, as with the rest of the sneakers in this list. And when I miss a sneaker for retail, I pass and move on to the next sneaker. Um, I don't pay the resale price. Because that re resale price that you pay for the sneaker could go towards uh, uh, another sneaker or two, three other sneakers. I mean, I'd rather just spend the money uh, like that than to pay crazy prices for these sneakers. So that is why this one is on my runner-up list. I actually like the sneaker, missed it at retail. Moving on to the next runner-up on this, this list, and that is the Air Jordan 5 Fears. And I really like this sneaker as well. I really wanted to see this this in person, and I like the material. It looks awesome. Also, can you imagine this sneaker with wax leather laces? I think it would be pretty badass. Uh, but I did miss it at retail, unfortunately. And I did get the other parts of the Fear Pack, but this is the one that kind of got away, unfortunately for me. Uh, but uh, but I do consider this in the, the countdown uh, as a runner-up. So let's go ahead and jump in, and I'll show you guys the actual top 10 now. So uh, starting off with number 10, we have the Air Jordan 28. Now, I know this isn't a limited sneaker uh, to some extent. I know that they have some of the colorways at the outlets, but I wanted the original colorway that was announced under, and I did not get this one, and it would have been cool to be able to get this one. I, for some reason, I like to get the original colorways of a new generation of, of sneakers. Um, it doesn't happen as often as I would like, but uh, but part of the reason why is they end up selling out. But this is one of the ones on my list that I did not get in 2013 that I regret for sure because I do like the the, the Jordan 28s. So it would have been cool to try them casually. Moving on, we have a non-Nike Jordan shoe in the list. No way. I actually wanted this Ronnie Feig uh, ASIC Volcanoes, and I, I don't even know that that's how to say his name, honestly. But these Volcanoes look really dope to me. Honestly, I know it was a hyped-up shoe, but the colorway looks dope. I really like the reds and the pinks and kind of the salmon color tones, but it looks like a really rugged sneaker. Uh, maybe it could be the silhouette in the background or whatever it might be, but it just looks awesome, and I really wanted to go ahead and try to get this one. I missed it, unfortunately. Um, so who knows? Maybe I'll look for it in the aftermarket if it's not priced too bad. Number eight, the LeBron 10, What the LeBrons. This was on my list. It was one, one of those hyped sneakers that uh, would have been cool to have. It would have been neat to be able to, to get this one. I do like the LeBron 10s, and I thought that this one kind of embodies all of the different LeBrons um, that were released better than what the, what the Kobe's did. Uh, unfortunately, I was not able to get this sneaker, and there's a huge aftermarket uh, of uh, fakes on this sneaker. So just be careful when you're when you're on the gray market trying to buy a pair that you don't get um, kind of blindsided. Uh, moving on on the list, number seven. I know this is only on number seven for me, but it is the Royal Ones. I'm one of those people I do like the originals, and that's the main reason why I wanted the shoe. I'm not a huge fan of the blue. Just That's just me personally. But I, I do appreciate this sneaker for whatever it's worth. Hype aside, that's why it's on a lower end of the scale for me because I know it's a hyped up sneaker, so it should be high on the higher end. But uh, for me personally, I just, I mean, I'd rather have a red pair. If I'm getting a pair of Jordans, I'd rather have red than blue uh, for the most part. So that's why it's lower on the list, but I definitely did want to get that one. Uh, moving on, another pair that I missed that was very hyped up, the, the Cork uh, LeBron 10s. Uh, it would have been great to get this sneaker. I saw it in person and I actually really did like what I was able to see. Uh, I really liked the fact that it was the first pair that I that I've seen like mainstream like this that ha is like an all kind of cork uh, upper. I'm sure there's other sneakers out there, but this is the one that definitely brought um, uh, to the limelight. And also the the whole championship or the you know popping bottles thing. I thought that was a dope idea as well. Missed out on this one. I'm definitely not paying the crazy prices. This is one I hope to pick up soon uh, at after the, uh, Christmas deal, which is the ugly Christmas sweater five uh, on my list here. And this is a dope sneaker. I really want the black one and the gray one if possible, but I just thought it was really, really well executed in a fun um, thing. And I love Christmas. I mean, for those that know me personally, I mean, I'm one of those people that put my Christmas ringtones on uh, at the end of October. Like, so that, that for me, that's the reason why I really like this shoe. I know it's uh, it ha it had a lot of publicity through this year as well, but um, it's a dope shoe. Moving on, number four, the Air Jordan 5 Shanghai. This is an unobtainable, unobtainable sneaker, excuse me, uh, to myself because it was a uh, Asia release only. Uh, I don't even know. I didn't even hear any blog sites covering that it actually released. We just saw lots of images, and again, there's a lot of fakes in rotation on this shoe as well, which is quite unfortunate. I really thought it was kind of a cool idea, uh, but the Shanghai 5s would have been nice to add to the collection. As you guys already know, I'm a huge fan of my Jordan, Jordan 5s, and I picked up a majority of them from, through this year, uh, Expect a collection video soon for the Jordan 5s. Number three on the list is the Kobe 1 Preludes. And this is up high because I, I recognize that it's another hyped up sneaker, but this shoe looked really dope to me. And along with the rest of the, the Kobe Prelude series, it's one, it, there's a lot of them that I really want to get. Uh, fours, fives, sixes, sevens, eights. I really like 
the concept, the artwork pieces uh, behind them. I mean, if I could afford it, I would have the whole entire series set up and I would have the dopest display room possible. But that's why these ones are on the list. I really respect the sneaker. Uh, moving on, number two, an easy number two is the 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 two pack, the LeBron 10 celebration packs or the championship pack, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I really like the elite LeBrons, as you guys already know, in my top 25 list. If you missed that, check the the channel out and, and see. But these shoes look crazy to me, and both both of them, the lows and the highs, and it would have been a great pack to add to the collection. Unfortunately, as usual, I end up uh, swinging and a missing on uh, some of these limited releases. But I do think it's a cool pack, and, and the fact that they won the championship was dope. But number one on the list is the Air Jordan 3 Dornbecker. Uh, retro and this is number one on my list because I really really wanted this sneaker and I I wanted this sneaker since it originally came out um, and I missed it then and I missed it again on the retro and and I just can't this is probably the one sneaker out of the entire list that I would honestly truly consider paying more than retail for um, the other one there's a lot of the other ones on those lists I wouldn't even think about it but this is one of those ones that where I I definitely want the sneaker. Um, and eventually, you know, hopefully I'll have it. If I can get a good trade or something like that, I'll definitely get it in it. Um, but it's just a fresh sneaker to me. I really think that it's a well-executed sneaker. I love the clear soles on the Jordan 3. And uh, this shoe is just an all-around awesome shoe. So that's why, for me personally, it's the number one on my list. Leave a comment below and let me know which ones you guys wanted this year that you guys missed out on. Appreciate the support, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Happy holidays. We'll catch you guys for another video tomorrow. Peace, guys.